Thanks for joining Earth Radio. Today we have Chico Crypto discussing the latest news around Uniswap's V3 announcements. If you like our summary videos, check out the Earth Experiment at earth.io. What did the swap drop? Well, they tweeted, Today we are thrilled to present a detailed overview of Uniswap V3, the most flexible and capital-efficient AMM ever designed. Mainnet launch is scheduled for May 5th, with a scalable Optimism L2 deployment set to follow soon after. So let's get into it, starting with their detailed blog explaining how V3 works. At the bottom, they included the launch details. The team said, Uniswap V3 smart contracts will be deployed to the Ropston, RinkB, Covan, and Gorley testnets in the coming days, giving developers time to begin experimenting with the protocol before the official launch, and they gave the core repositories. So, testnets on all the major ETH deployments within this week, running until May 5th, and then it goes live on the mainnet. 42 days will fly by and V3 will be here before we know it. But how will this go for the markets overall? Will Uniswap save them? Well, luckily we have some history to look back on. The V2 deployment. Remember from that video, announcement drop in March 2020. Mainnet by May of 2020, only a year ago, which seems like a lifetime. What happened to the Bitcoin price back then? As we can see, it pumped from just above 5K in March to nearly 10K by the time of the V2 deployment in May. Going back to their detailed blog post, they have a section called Non-Fungible Liquidity and say, as a byproduct of per LP custom price curves, liquidity positions are no longer fungible and are not represented as ERC-20 tokens in the core protocol. Instead, LP positions will be represented by non-fungible tokens NFTs. What, what, what? Liquidity pool tokens are moving from ERC-20 to NFTs. I hope you understand the gravity of this. The blog explained it. Over time, we expect increasingly sophisticated strategies to be tokenized, making it possible for LPs to participate while maintaining a passive user experience. This could include multi-positions, auto-rebalancing to concentrate around the market price, fee reinvestment, lending, and more. 